There we go. There we go. We're live. Good, Good morning, morning, guys. <laughs> Another Monday. <laughs> oh, don't, don't sound so excited about it <laughs> now. You've gotten well. Person. It is exciting. We have, we have a guest this morning, so it is exciting. Yeah. Do you want to introduce our guest? Should I, yeah. Should I do it now? Well, yeah. Just roll right into it? He is, and then we'll do our. Well, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the people waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we, this morning we have Leonard Tabone of Revolution Mortgage popping on to uh, give us some information about the mortgage market. <laughs> I don't know. I'm off my okay. name today, guys. That, that is okay. Let's uh, let's get through the numbers so that way we can have uh, Lenny share with us what predictions are out there and so forth. Uh, first thing that we have is our new active listings. So uh, down a little bit, but we're going to see when we get to the under contracts that we yeah. uh, have an increase. So yeah. um, there are currently this past week in the Montgomery uh, Bucks and Lehigh Valley, there were 225 new active listings that hit the market. And then coming soon, stable from last week, 34 this week from 36 last week. Yep. And then we have under contracts. We have 321 versus 251. So that's exciting to see that yeah. we uh, are starting to, again, see properties going under contract. Yep. And then this one here stayed back on market, stayed stable 47 this week from 46 last week, which is that's good news. And again, consistency, consistency, we're at price reductions. There were 141 this week versus 146 last week. And then talk about true consistency. Right. 1,662 from 1,660 last week. That's all available listings. And um, we don't break it down at all. It's it's single family, it's townhomes, it's condos, it's everything in Bucks County, Montgomery County, and Lehigh County. So that's everything out there that's available. Right. And now, now, the moment let's we've all been waiting for. Let's talk to Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, we, uh, we are so happy that you're here today. So you tell us a little bit about how long you've been in the mortgage industry and why you are an expert and what you're going to be sharing with us right now. Um, thank you. I appreciate you guys having me on your uh, live show today. Um, I've been in the mortgage business since March of 2006. So I am coming up on 17 years. Wow. So I promise you, I did not have any of this gray hair when I started in the business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I try to keep things pretty straightforward and simple with my clients. Um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about rates, but I'm more about how can clients prepare themselves to buy a home? You know, how can they put themselves mm -hmm. in the best possible position with their pre-approval, you know, communication with their realtor, and then, you know, I've actually seen a lot, lot more go under contract over the last couple of weeks as well, too. So those are those are very good numbers. Um, so, you know, I try to keep it very straightforward. So, you know, as it comes to interest rates, you know, they spiked around the Labor Day weekend and they were going up pretty significantly. And what we've mm -hmm. seen over the last, I would say, six weeks is we receive we see a slight reduction in interest rates mm -hmm. on a weekly basis. Uh, so, you know, as the, as of, uh, you know, mid September, late September, they were in the low sevens, mm -hmm. uh, and now they're in the low sixes. And even in some cases you can maybe right. even crack the six and get into the high fives, depending on the circumstances. So these are, these are very good trends and I can, I can see why more properties are going under agreement, but also too is, is now people that are trying to sell their house, they're thinking, okay, if I sell my house now. I can now get into a property that I can afford because the rates are lower. Right. So it's right. helped both sides of the coin uh, tremendously. I mean, the predictions and the projections, um, you know, I always tell people my crystal balls in the shop. I, I don't know what's going to happen in the next year, but it's probably going to be much better than it was last year. Um, you know, it's that sticker shock. You know, we talked earlier before we went on, on, on live about uh, going to a car dealer. Well, it's that mm -hmm. sticker shock. You know, when someone was pre-approved at 3%, and then they were pre-approved at 6% or 7%. And that was a, a, definitely a sticker shock. And yeah. I think it's taken people time. The reality is to get used to higher prices, not just in the housing market, but you know, in a lot of other areas of our lives. Eggs. You know? Eggs are expensive. It's crazy. Yeah, oh my I God. Tell you how many, I, I, I should just quit my job and become a egg uh, meme creator. <laughs> <laughs> that would be more profitable this time. Uh, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I mean, yeah, but it is, I mean, look, things go up in price. You know, obviously we can, we can, you know, argue and debate for hours on, on inflation, but the reality is, is things go up in price and things have yeah. been held artificially low for a very long time. Uh, right. So, you know, things are starting to go. People are getting used to paying higher prices at the gas pump, at the grocery store, you know, in their housing. So it take, it's taken some time for the dust to settle. And I think what we're seeing in the real estate market is um, the benefits, you know, for, for people in our industry where right. interest rates have stabilized and, and actually reducing. We have people that are putting their house on the market and selling. So it's really been a great thing. Yeah. So, so you were going to quickly um, share with us a program that you have happening with your mortgage company just to... Uh, offer some advice to buyers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before I get into that, I also want to discuss. Uh, so with interest rates being higher than they were over the last few years, what our company has done is actually put together a rate protection program. So very simply, any client that buys a property, um, they get to refinance uh, before June of 2026. And we will waive our lender fees and actually reimburse them at closing for uh, an appraisal That's as fantastic. well. So they actually get a certificate. Did you say June of what year? 2026. So, oh my gosh. So three, it's three and a half years. Yeah. So, you know, we obviously want to be committed to the client and make sure that when they're coming back to us, you know, it's actually in writing, it's official, you know, wow. so, you know, there's not like, oh, I didn't say that it's, it's all, it's all in writing. So yes, any client at closing, will get a, a little certificate uh, for the rate protection program. Nice. That's awesome. Thanks. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, obviously as realtors and as people working in the industry, you know, putting in an offer is one of those times where everyone starts to, that's where it gets real, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we prepare? And one of the things that our company has been doing very well is um, having our clients who do a pre-approval go through our buyer ready program. And it's very simply put, it's, it's making the, it's putting the buyer in a buyer ready position. Uh, so what that is, it's not just a, a, a basic pre-approval. We get all of the um, clients' applicable um, financial documents up front. Okay. We send them through underwriting, and their pre-approval letter says buyer ready, and the verbiage uh, says that they actually uh, their credit, their income, their assets, all of that has been reviewed. Now, that's a that's great to put the buyer at ease. That's great to have the buyers and the listing agent realize, hey, you know, now right. this client is ready to go. But it also it reduces the time that we probably need for settlement as well, too, because if we have a lot of documents and we have a lot of the hard work done, now we can condense the close date if need be. Right. So how how long is your kind of turnaround time then after that? Like, how oh, long do you close it? You know, I, I, we've we've turned files around in as less you know, as low as two weeks. But, you know, to Dang. be realistic. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> real, realistic, <laughs> speaking, it's, it's close to three weeks. You yeah, know, it gives everyone awesome. time, you know, to get things done. But yeah, we did a we did a closing at the end of the year that we had 16 days to do, and we and we did it. You know, awesome. so, you awesome. know, but again, that's everything's got to line up right. The client's got to be on point. Um, yeah, they got to get their end done too. Yeah, the, the the seller can't delay getting the appraiser in the house. You know, there's a lot of things. Right, right. Happen, you know? So <laughs> I see a lot of people. Oh, close in 10 days. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, that's the, the, the rule, uh, by, uh, by trade, you have to wait 10 days to close after an application, but realistically right. speaking, you know, three weeks, you three know, weeks. gets a client in the property without, uh, you know, any issues. Okay. Well, thank you so much for helping thank us you. with this update, Lenny. We appreciate you. And guys, mm. if, uh, you are not, if you're thinking of, you know, buying and you're not yet pre-approved, reach out to Trisha and I, and we will get you connected with Leonard yep. and, uh, get you ready for the home buying experience. All right, guys, have any questions for next week? Make sure that you reach out to us and everybody have a great week. Have a good week. All right. Bye, Thanks, guys. guys. All right. Thanks, have a great day.